Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Resident Evil Village. This is part 8. We're picking up where we left off, uh, going through the, the factory. So, we took out uh, Heisenberg's hammer-wielding pet last episode, and then made our way through here, dealing with a couple of these drill arm fellows. Um, and we are now going to make our way further in, see if we can complete this section of the game this time. Um, and meet up with Heisenberg after rejecting his offer to join him uh, in his fight against Miranda because screw him I guess and Ethan's stubborn and he says his daughter is not a weapon so we're gonna take Rose who's still upstairs I guess um, and get the hell out of here Miranda thinks we're nothing but children oh, she doesn't care for us no. She's long lost all her humanity. I must destroy her. I don't give a shit about your family drama. I don't give a shit about your family drama. I think, uh, I think what's funny about this game... Oh. Honestly, I gotta say, the, the whole LB to push enemy away pop-up really always confuses me, because it pops it up as if I'm able to do it, and I forget that you have to do it after a successful guard. <laughs> so I keep- I p go to press it, and then I get hit. There we go. Um... It's, it's funny how Ethan is as a character in this game, and I absolutely love it, but what I- what I also think is just so funny is, um... How this game is set in the same, you know, storyline as Resident Evil 7, but it is so vastly different, you know, like Resident Evil 7 is very grounded in its own setting, it's very tiny, it's like here's your, here's your house, and then it goes to the boat, which is the weakest section of the game, but it's like very much within the same sort of area, um, and only rarely branches out, but like, there's so much variety to, to Resident Evil 8. It's much bigger, uh, much more expansive. The lore is crazy. They're taking whatever was going on with the mold stuff uh, from Resident Evil 7 and just fucking running with it in this game. And it's and it's great. Like, it's, re it's really cool. I, I love it. It's just playing Resident Evil 7 <laughs> and then playing uh, Resident Evil 8 is, is, very, is very interesting just because of how crazy this game is compared to uh compared to seven seven was like the necessary reboot like oh there was a dude there jesus um i just saw that fucking ultra instinct in the right hand side of my fucking perspective oh my god what the fuck um, trying to focus here, and the, yeah, so 7 was like, you know, their reset button, because they were like, oops, Resident Evil 6, ooh, sorry guys, that's not what you wanted, um, and then, after that, they were just able to go crazy with it, they were like, cool, Resident Evil 7 reset everything, everybody was like, mostly happy, can't please everybody, of course, there are people that don't like the first person Resident Evils, but then, they're like, we reset enough, pleased everyone enough to then just go, all right, Resident Evil 8, we'll continue the story of Ethan, but we'll just fucking go wild on it. And I can't wait to see how this game is going to end, and I can't wait to see what that means for a potential Resident Evil 9 uh, in the, you know, in the, the trilogy, if we're going to have a first-person trilogy anyway. Okay, we've got another wall that we can explode. Uh, I might just do that with this instead of doing a mine. There we go. Large crystal, the other quartz. Do we have... Okay. I was wondering if we would have the... I was, gonna, I was wondering if we were going to have the next part of that treasure piece. Uh, but apparently not. Give me some more of that, please. Another one of those. Pretty low on our standard, standard little 
arrangement here. Keeping empty space because I know we'll get more shotgun and handgun ammo there. Okay. We're in a giant turbine. We're in a giant turbine. Okay. Looks good. More than that. Giant. Ooh, hang on. Ah, okay. Hang on. We gotta power this bad boy down. Oh! <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> they got jetpacks now? Oh my god. Dear Lord, Heisenberg, what are you creating? Super soldats. How fucking... It's like weird Resident Evil Wolfenstein crossover because, like, they're super soldats. Oh, wait, there's one behind me. Fuck. What the fuck just happened there? Damn it. Oh, shit. This is honestly incredible. Um, hang on a minute. Have I got mines? I do have one. There you go, you're down. Dude, jetpack ones. Holy shit. They didn't. They didn't work on getting that. Uh, that whole uh, exposed reactor core uh, fixed, did they? They're like, let's let's put all of the <laughs> all of the armor on it and jetpacks and double arms, but that reactor no, it must be exposed. What the fuck? Not a good angle. Not a good angle. Not a fan. Um. Wow. That's impressive. I gotta tell you. Ooh! Was that it? Nope. Still not it. Oh. Oh, I'm stuck. I keep getting stuck. Hey, we can yeah, no. Oh. You're a resilient one, aren't you? Means we've obviously done much more damage to the other one. There we go. I thought we'd done more damage to both of them, but I guess one definitely took more than the other. We got a lot of sniper ammo right now, so I might just kind of start using that. The exposed reactor does make me laugh. Yeah, you gotta have a weak point, but when you put when you start chucking so much more armor on your en on the enemies and give them jetpacks and helmets and dual wielding drill arms, you gotta also you know account for the the reactor weak point. Shut down. This is a fancy facility, let me tell you that much. Okay. Ooh, this... <laughs> this doesn't look dangerous. Don't... don't turn it back on. Don't... don't turn it back on, please. Let me... let me get out of here first. Okay, we're getting up there. Maybe. 
use a sniper rifle indoors because it's what I've got the most ammo for. Soldat enhancement. Soldat jet. Attached a jetpack and head stabilizers to a soldat greatly improves mobility. Experiments prove limited flight capabilities. No long distance flight, but now possible to navigate rugged terrain. Soldat panzer. Attached aluminum. Aluminum for you Americans. Aluminium. Oh, it's so weird how it's spelled aluminum. It's aluminium. <laughs> aluminium. I can see how Americans would print, like, you guys would pronunciate it. Uh, pronounce it. Aluminum. But I'm sorry to say it is aluminium. Alloy shielding to a soldat to protect chest reactor. Did you, pro did you protect the chest reactor? Experimentation proves he is invincible. Oh, it's a, it's a typo. In invisible. They they spelled invincible wrong. How you expect me to pronounce these words right when you can't even spell them right? Invincible invisible against regular firearms. Armor doesn't hold up against strong blasts. Further development needed. So I think this is one that I haven't come across yet. Because it's protected the chest reactor, but you got to kind of blast it a bit, um, and then it will um, it'll really come to shine. So I guess I should be saving my explosives. I got some pipe bombs. Um, I can craft another mine. So I should be should be okay. We got some explosives. Uh, we got to push this. Hmm. Can we can we blow open this wall as well? I think. Um. I guess I can try. I don't want to waste my only. No! I guess that's just because we can see through it. That's a shame. Oh, hang on. I think this is what the map was literally just showing us. I tried to blow up the wall. Yep. Silly. Oh, that's a shame. I just wasted a pipe bomb. Ah, oh, we got the mold uh, to make the. Oh, that's funny. To make the ball for the end. Okay. Um, we have to go back. Does that mean I have to go back? I do. I think I do. Unless I shouldn't have to go back because I, I should be able to get to like another elevator, and I should be able to go down further. I should be able to go back to the mold I'm pretty sure I don't uh, I don't know if I want to I guess I could go all the way back but I don't know it's better to be safe than sorry. I don't want to like miss anything because sometimes you can just straight up miss areas when you progress and that has happened to me already. So um, I feel like it will be able to go back here if we proceed, but I'm going to backtrack or at least see if I can backtrack um, and just do it the safe way. We've backtracked to get this ball mold. We have to go back to the elevator, go down to... Um, bottom fourth floor come back here um, and we've we've got it apparently um, and again as per usual like there's just like the room has not been fully searched um, and I'm just trying to see what part of the room 
I'm missing stuff from in rooms like this. It's very interesting. So you don't know if it's just like a treasure in the wall or if it's like... Because it says it's just this area. And this is the part of me that's going, I need to remind myself that I'm not doing like a completionist run, but then at the same time, when I actually catch myself in a room that I'm like aware is red, I'm like, what is it that I, what is it that I'm missing, you know? And how is it staring me right in the face? Because I keep going, oh, it's probably like scrap or something because there's so much of it here. I don't know, look, like, we've already examined this. Don't know if it's... I don't think there'd be any other molds to get. Anyway, I think we still have to come back here, I think, anyway, because there's Heisenberg's key. Uh, so I think there's still more to this place, which probably leads more into me going, Oh yeah, I, there's probably backtracking that we can do. Or we'll end up back in this area anyway, and it seems to be uh, the case that we will end up back in this area. Uh, anyway, but if you choose to backtrack, uh, if you choose to backtrack, you can. Just also unsure where that noise is coming from because I'm just hearing a lot of screaming. And I just don't think that I, I just don't think that I necessarily want to be around uh, for that. So I'm going to try and not witness that yelling. Uh, and we're going to go back to the merchant who's just chilling out with the uh, with the ball puzzle. This is another room that I haven't fully completed as well. It just says that it's red, so I'm just like, I don't know, I don't know. And watch me go back all the way where I was before, only for me to just enter a room and it will be right back where we where we started. And it was all worth it for this. For the Iron Horse Ball. Alright, let's figure this one out. Oh, okay. Um, oh, oh okay, I see, I see. Oh, this one's going to be interesting. Okay. Drop me down. Well, there's a little cart and everything. Alright, just sitting there all cute like. Oh man, okay. Hang on, I forgot how to change the angle. That's how I change the angle. Oh, I can't fucking see anymore. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. Okay. Oh man, the, the angle shift. That's, that's gonna be that's gonna be one to get used to. They're gonna make the fourth lords the most challenging of all. Okay. Oh. Ah. Oh, okay. This is gonna fuck with me. So you need to just guide it into that slot very nicely and slowly. And then what? I gotta get it. I gotta drop it into a weird crate on a tram. Okay, this way. Fuck! I can't see from. I can't see what to get to that point. I got this! Okay. Next. I can't fucking see, dude. <gasps> no! It. There's a fucking broken ledge. Are you kidding me? That broken ledge, dude.
They're really just gonna try and fuck with me this one, aren't they? That's okay. Okay. Oh, I need to get it to drop into the fucking train. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. Yep. Then, uh, are we done once it goes into here? I think we are. Woo! Fucking hell. Bista Scar. Thank you. Well deserved. We did it. Naturally. Now I sell it. Now I sell it. Take my take my stuff. Take my yellow quartz. Take my mechanical hearts. We'll keep that. Take my skull. Aha! Here we go, I got my money back. Kinda want to kinda wanna get that scope. Is more important than for my sniper. Anything, my friend. <laughs> Tempted to also buy the rest, but I'll I'll leave it for now. That's good. All right, now I'm gonna. Patronage. Now we're going back to B3. And I'm gonna backtrack all the way back, and now we can proceed. I just didn't want to miss that, just in case. I wanted to while it was fresh in my mind. All right, let's push forward. Now that we're here, we sorted out the ball issue. Now we can see what this turbine's all about. Oh, okay. <laughs> Snipe it. Well done, Ethan. Oh, I see where we are now. Shit, that was close. <sighs> Keep. God, it's just so hard to just like always be aware of. How many more of those are gonna be in this little shaft? You know, just like little tiny flashes. To be aware of. Or is it just going to be scrap? Oh no, the shaft is now clear. Never mind. Okay, let's try not fo to fall to my death. This is nice. Very safe. Okay, now while we're on a ladder, let's do this. Shh. Also very safe. Gotcha. Alrighty. Alright, I guess this is our way out of here. Soon, she'll start her ceremony with your repose. If that happens, it's all over. For your kid, and for the whole village. But don't worry. I'll stop it. I'll use Rose to kill Miranda. <laughs> Poor Papa. You're the only one who doesn't see your kid's power. Take Rose? Huh. I'd like to see you try. Nothing gets between her dad and his daughter split into four pieces, put into a flask. Oh, there you go. That's the key mold for Heisenberg's key. All right, that makes sense. All right, we are revisiting that area then, so that's fine. 
because <laughs> we'll make the key that goes into Heisenberg's personal quarters. But instead of backtracking all that way, which we could, uh, we will go through this brand new area. I don't want to skip this, but... It, there's more. What's interesting is it seems that you can actually skip this area because you could just backtrack all the way that we came from. Oh no, Hank, actually I don't think we can now because I think we dropped down. Yeah, we dropped down from here. So there's actually no way to return. Clever. Ah, oh. <laughs> but this is how, yep, this is how we, we were this close to the elevator with the merchant and I backtracked all the way Okay, Heisenberg's key. Ah, oh, which takes us through that area. Or, we can also use Heisenberg's key on his personal quarters as well, uh, in the map. From what I can see... Here, Heisenberg's quarters. So we'll check, we'll check that out, because that might be a little bonus thing. Will be a good idea to save, just in case before we make any decisions. Uh, take me to B4, please. Merchant to B4. <laughs> All right. Mold the key, chuck the key into the personal quarters. And then after that, Oh, it's changed. We got a flashlight going on now. They turned the lights off. Okay, setting the mood. Okay, I see. What you, I see. Picking up what you're putting down. You're trying to get scary on me. Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow, okay. Hang on. This is another version, huh? You look pretty spicy, my guy. How close do you want to get to him? <laughs> All right. Oh, I was like, where the fuck is it coming from? Okay, nice. Only a few shots in the heart with the shotgun. Alright, let's craft the key, baby. Key mold. Have to come to this area three times now. Four times now. For this. Give me that key. Open up the personal quarters. Then check out the uh, cargo bay on B1. Or I'm assuming that is where we will finally deal with Heisenberg, right? Because I don't think this would be the way to go. Yeah, they just got some guys in there with a nice little hammer. Heisenberg's key. Check out this these mechanisms, baby. Hey everyone. Oh, a fourth one pops up. Oh, we got two in one. And yep. And yep. Not bad, dude. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
All right, let me see. Give me your scrap. More scrap. Gunpowder. <sighs> okay, now we can open up the big boy. Ooh. Mechanical part. Nice. Um, there we go. Sweet. Oh, it's a tiny hammer. It's a tiny hammer. Heisenberg's hammer. It's too heavy to use, but we may sell it. And that is why we check out Heisenberg's quarters. Alright, done pretty good with the combinable treasures then. We can now leave and then use the lift to progress further. Oh! Oh my fucking god, it's the fully armored one. God! Oh, there's its head. Oh, there we go. We can, all right, we got a. We've got a. We've got a reactor. Oh my fucking god, Heisenberg! What have you done? Holy shit, man! Snipe it. Perfect crystal mechanical heart. That was the... Yep, that was the Solat Panzer. Jesus Christ. I'll take my leave now. I, I'll, I'll go. <laughs> I, I'll go. <laughs> I'm out. No more of that. Oh, no! I said no more of that! Uh, we should be able to blind it, right? Can we blind him with this one? Uh, hold on. Dude! Okay. There we go. That's nice! No! Oh my god. Holy shit, man. Okay. Oh, I'm at a... Wow. Holy shit, dude. Look at this dude. <laughs> this dude is fucked. Oh, I'm gonna die. I don't have... Hang on. <laughs> yep, hang on. I don't want to die here. Um, I will use another one of these. Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. Oh, we still didn't get it. Okay, we still didn't get it. We still didn't get it. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was the final hit too. Oh, that was the final hit too. Holy fuck. He's just like charging me up at the end. Taking me for all that I'm worth. God damn. I'll sell it. Two yellow quartz, a crystal mechanical heart, two perfect ones, Heisenberg's hammer. You would part with this? Yeah, that... No, I'm more than happy to purchase it. That's how we get paid, baby. Uh, I'm keen to buy these on a second on a second playthrough for sure, to run with some uh, higher tier weapons. Uh -huh. Definitely gonna buy some of those. I'm out of gear, so at this point I'm just like I'll just I'll just buy some of this stuff. Uh, 
This just gets more expensive each time. Are you eyeing that oh, no, we're sold out now. That's how many you get to buy. Wonderful. Yeah, all right, they, they eventually sell out. I think we've done pretty good at like crafting them all at this point. He's only got three left, apparently. An interesting selection. Take him out for all that he has. One moment, please. One moment, please. Food is life. Cool. I'll take that. Um, now I'll just rearrange my settings. Keep everything. Oh, wrong one. You're really gonna do me like that? Wonderful. Okay, and we've got scrap to craft more of these, but I was like, give me, give me some. Oh yeah. And now I'm ready to save. And now I'm ready to go to B1. Show him who's boss. Hello, merchant friend. Has this all been on the February the 9th? Yeah. It's all just been on the same day. We're in the evening of February 9th. How crazy is that? <laughs> it's one hell of a day. <laughs> one hell of a day. Five days before Valentine's Day with me and Mia. No. That's a shame. Alright. Heisenberg's key. Unlock the door that we're meant to unlock. Okay. Prepare ourselves, whatever the fuck is gonna be coming for us. Flash grenades at the ready. We got mines, we got pipe bombs. We're ready. Such a big little gap in the middle. You really are a tough one. I'm tired to chat. Time to die. Time to die. Can't you? Someone's waiting for you. Someone's waiting for me. You're gonna fuck with me. You're prepping me for a fight, that's for sure. Okay. Let's read this. Prototype. Prototype, Sturm, used a cheap turboprop engine, but he's impossible to control. All he does is charge too much power output from the reactor. This is the this is the fan dude, cool. So he's he's actually a boss. <laughs> he's not just gonna appear twice to run away from. Completely invincible head on, but the dumbass managed to chop his own dam's arm off on the propeller. Also issues with overheating from running for long periods of time. Conclusion, a complete failure. Um, so it's a dumbass. Invincible head-on, but overheating. Um, I just love that Heisenberg was like, I'm gonna put a giant propeller fan on this guy and see what happens. Uh, so we just have to, like, tire him out. And then just, like, shoot him from the back, I guess. Does he have eyes? If he's got his arm off, maybe he's gotta have a face, right? Behind those propellers. Must be hard to see. All right, we've got a big area ahead of us to navigate in, unless the fight happens here, in which case, fuck that. Oh, fuck me. I don't have time for this bullshit. Oh. Out of my way. Uh, what does this mean? Oh, dude, what the fuck? Ah! Oh. Okay, the fight does happen here, and he just goes through walls! Oh, there we go. I see. I see ya. Okay, there's no eyes there. There's no face there. Oh my fucking god, dude. Oh, this is fucking incredible. This is just so fucking funny! Okay. 
He says he's completely invincible head on, but like, I don't know. Does that include these bad, bad boys? Oh! <laughs> they just charged me through a wall. Oh my fucking god. Where the fuck did he go? Oh my god, dude. Okay. Am I fucked? Does the fire go out? Oh my god. Dear lord. Does the fire... Oh! Learn from your previous... Press A. <laughs> I almost just restarted the encounter again. Oh, did that last episode. Me trying to go into this menu. Okay, that's not an attack. That's not you charging at me. Come on, man. Be, be fair. Come on. Come, come walk this way. There we go. Holy shit, dude. Whoa! <laughs> Holy fuck! He's so fast! Okay, you can run through the fire. Holy shit, dude. I thought you couldn't run through the fire. Where the fuck did he go? Oh! I'll, I'll take it. Apparently I survived. Whoa! This might just be... close to my favorite boss fight. Oh! Oh, am I gonna die here? Oh! <laughs> so that's what happens. That's what happens when you eat the fan. Oh my god. Uh, hmm. Alright, that's fun. That's fun. Um, hmm. Flash grenades ain't gonna work. They're not gonna cut it. Sniper is also not going to cut it for this, so let's really are let's rock with that. Blind tired, Jack. Time to die. Oh, this is an. Can't you? Someone waiting for you. This is a bit of an annoying checkpoint because I have to re-pick up all of this stuff again. Okay. Let's just do it better this time. Use mines. Use pipe bombs. Blow that fan up. Oh my god, this is this is incredible. I don't have time for this bullshit. Out of my way. Oh, he just ran. Come on. Go over the fan. Go over the mine. There we go. That's what I wanted. Slowly wreck this arena, buddy. That's what we want. That's what we want to see. Oh, I think I just blew up my own mine. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Just gonna put that down there. Oh, never mind. Off he goes. Ugh! Wow. Uh, where's my mine? I don't know where I put my mine. It's on there somewhere. I can't see because of the... There, is it there? That's my mine. There we go. Holy shit, man. Let's do one more for the road. There we go. That's good. Oh! He turned around. Oh, no. Holy fuck. Oh, 
run circles around this dude. <laughs> uh, buddy, buddy. Oh, another mine, huh? Don't mind if I don't mind if I do. Oh my god, I think I think we got him. <laughs> Whoa, holy fuck. That might be one of my favorite fights. This is so chaotic. That is that is absolutely incredible. I don't even know what to I don't even know what else to say. It's just like so it's just so so stressful. They put you in this like maze that he just like slowly destroys over time. Fucking hell. I guess maybe if you get him to destroy particular parts of it, it reveals um, more items that I can pick up. I don't know. I need to see what I've missed because I think yeah, it's still red in here. So he didn't destroy every wall. There was a mine that I picked up. I don't know if there's just stuff sitting on the... There we go. There we go. Alright, now we can proceed through... to the cargo bay. Take that, Heisenberg. Jesus Christ. That's a bit of a... F that was a... <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a fight. My God. Uh, yeah. Ooh. We've got a console that we can't interact with. We got a book. <laughs> Heisenberg cigar. Okay. Miranda is um a bonimable. A bonim Oh my god, why is this so hard? Why? Why? Why can't I speak? Miranda is abominable. Oh, that's such a, that's such a, bleh, that's such a thing to say. Abominable. Her deceit knows no bound. We're merely a bunch of failed kaiju experiments to her. I was just lucky I had more affinity to the stuff than the other poor schmucks in the village, so she still calls me her son. What a joke. I'll never forgive her for what she did to me. This is like, this is interesting because this is very similar to how, um, in Resident Evil 7, Lucas broke free of, um, of, uh, of Eve, of, uh, good old Evelyn, but then, you know, played dumb about it, you know, and like kept, kept going and then was feeding information to someone else. That crazy bitch has never been right in the head. She can't see a difference between experiment and family. Miranda didn't just change my body. She took my dignity. If I don't kill her, then my life will never be my own. Still, she may be crazy, but she's also powerful. She can turn into anyone using the Mega Um The trick is that brat, Rose. If I could access her power, then maybe. Speaking of, the kid's dad, Ethan, has a pretty interesting body himself. Maybe I could get him to help me out. Yeah, Ethan's got something going on too. It's very interesting that Mother Miranda is so, like, into the whole family thing um, and, like, making them, like, sons and daughters and all of that kind of stuff. And Evelyn from Resident Evil 7 was trying to just, you know, do the family thing and, like, they corrupted the Baker family. And um, it's it's a very, it's very much, like, this, like, similar type of deal. So it wouldn't surprise me if Mother Miranda's packed full of that E-virus as well, got that those Evelyn genes or something. Um, with my limited understanding of what's going on, um, that it feels like that could be part of it, potentially. We just have to, we just have to wait and see, but it seems so similar to be just, you know, nothing. Okay. 
Hang on, can I? That looks like a green herb. Is there a... There it is, right under here. Yeah. Nice. And one of you too. No more, uh, not, still not at a position where there's like more lockpick related things. I've still got three lockpicks. Okay. Alright, we're pretty well stocked again. That's always fun. That's what I like to see. To take on Heisenberg, I assume. Heisenberg, I assume. Just have to wait and see. And then after that, who knows? What else you got for me, Heisenberg? I think we've gone through all of the tiers of his crazy soldat minions. Oh, this is this is this will go swimmingly. Uh, just slowly. There we go. And then my hand gets chopped off again. Every time I reach my hand out. Every time I reach my hand out <laughs> to use a switch, I'm, like, I'm gonna get fuck my arm chopped off again. All right. Alright. I'll drive the tractor out of here. Alright, this is blue. Okay, no items in here? We sure? We sure? Okay. No, like, uh, collectibles, nothing I can inspect. Because whenever it's blue, it's not always empty. Alright. Naturally. What the? Oh, here we go. Magneto! Not bad! Not bad, Winters! You're persistent! Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. So stay out of my way! What the fuck? Oh no. What? <laughs> oh, fuck. Heisenberg is full of mechanicals. Okay. Me thinking he would just transform into that big lichen dude this whole game, only for the Lycan dude to be his pet, and then for him to be a giant fucking machine. What the fuck? Waste runoff. Okay. Classic. Classic Heisenberg. Turning yourself into a giant machine. Who woulda, who woulda thunk? Who woulda, who woulda thunk it? Well, we're gonna fight that thing. I'm as, I'm as sure as anything. <gasps> oh my god! You're not my real dad. In the way. What do you care, Chris? You killed my wife, you son of a bitch! You think I killed Mia? That wasn't her. It was Miranda. What? She's a bioweapon. She changed her appearance and pretended to be Mia. Seems she also survived being shot, so now I'm here to finish the job. Bullshit! Why don't you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. And this job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. Why us, Chris? What the hell is going on? All right, Ethan. All right. I guess I owe you an explanation. 
Hand me that wrench. Hand me that wrench, boy. I'm your dad now. Now I'll now you do what I tell you. Become my real dad. Long story short, Miranda's fucking insane. In this village, all these monsters and freaks, this is her life's work. Some sort of crazy experiment with the mold. The mold. Like Louisiana. God damn it. All this time, I thought I could save my family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything. That might not be true. Take a look at this. My men sent those pictures a few minutes ago. Miranda. Keep looking. Oh. Rose. Holy shit, we gotta go! Relax, my men are monitoring the situation. But they have my daughter. You don't get anything. You don't stand a chance against Miranda by yourself. No. <laughs> I will stay down here and finish planting explosives. You take that elevator, I'll meet you topside. I promise you, we will get your daughter back. Together. Damn straight we will. And when I find Miranda, she's a dead woman. All right, Ethan. Then you take this and do me a favor. Try to stay under the radar. That's actually hype as fuck. How am I supposed to stay under the radar with whatever the fuck you just built? Chris Redfield built this in a cave with a box of scraps. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I like that there was some exposition and it wasn't just like a fade to black. Hand me that wrench and I'll give you old heart to heart. We got some information. So Chris Redfield did kill Mia. Miranda was pretty. That's so fucked. And it would make so much sense because. Uh, and Miranda wants to, like, drop everything. She was so close to Ethan and Rose. Where the fuck's Mia? Where the fuck is Mia? And then Chris is like, bruh, I had to keep it from you. But I will tell you finally at the end of the game, because we needed the plot to happen. I just fucking love the moment where he's like, I'll kill myself. And he's like, smiling. <laughs> That's actually so good. Um, cool. We got some Chris Redfield uh, explanation of what the fuck he's doing. And that makes so much sense. Um, I wonder if Mia is somewhere else. But that's really that's really strange. There must have been some sort of scenario where, like, they were there, but then they did, like, a body swap. Maybe Mia was actually killed and replaced by Miranda off screen? That's crazy. All right, let's let's read up on this as well. Hound Wolf Squad. Hound Wolf Squad. The sweep of the factory is complete. No proof of any connection with the organization. Guess this just wasn't our lucky day. I did manage to get my hands on a number of documents disclosing some of Miranda's experiments, which support our previous theories. She seems to have infected herself with the mutemocyte, which has granted her a number of abilities, including mimicry. Uh, she can control her cells and transform herself to look like anyone or anything. I don't know, man. What if that was... What if that was... Uh, what if that was Miranda? As Chris Redfield. Pretending to be him. And just faked that whole thing. I can't even tell anymore, man. She disguised herself as Mia and infiltrated the, the Winter's home. Her objective was clearly to kidnap Rose. Maybe she thought she could control Rose easier if she looked like her mom. Makes sense. When we attacked, it put a little damper on her plans, so she mimicked a corpse. She then revived herself in the transport truck, killed everyone on board, and took off with Rose. Things didn't go the way she had originally planned, but in the end, she still got what she wanted. Until now. It's time to rendezvous and blow this place sky high. Uh, this might turn into a fight with Heisenberg, but I think I found something useful. He left one of his little toys laying around, and it's even made from a metal polymer composite, which he can't control. Time to turn the tables. Okay. So, there's a toy down here that cannot be controlled by Heisenberg. Literally has <laughs> a mounted chainsaw uh, and a rocket launcher and a machine gun. <laughs> oh my god. This is the kind of shit 
um, that is like so fucking so fucking funny to me that it's like it's not even it's there's nothing about it that's that's bad it's just like i don't know it it feels like it just fits within this game so well and it's it's so fucking funny all right all right chris let's stay under the radar with the goddamn battle tank they really want us to hold a for this like are you sure maybe this is the end and they're like are you sure are you sure you want to get onto the battle tank, son? Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. God, one of the most used quotes of all time. Alright, okay, so we've got a fucking... Hold, ready to cannon, fire cannon, right trigger, machine gun. Oh, we can guard! Oh my fucking lord, man. That's so fucking funny. Oh, this is insane. Alright, Heisenberg, let's fucking go. <laughs> Taking this factory down, baby. Hope the merchant got out of here, because I'm blowing this place. I'm blowing this place up. This is wild. Alright, the, the, the amount of time this lift is taking is killing the momentum. Oh, we're gonna blow it open. Alright. Ooh, there's a kickback. Check that out. Alright, Heisenberg. <laughs> this is like Wolfenstein as fuck, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Look at his face! Holy fuck! Oh my god! Holy shit, dude! This is so fucking Wolfenstein, but with Resident Evil on it. Oh my fucking god! Can we shoot his arms off? shoot the red stuff. Oh! Nice. Hell yeah, dude. I'm getting my daughter back, my guy. Oh! Too slow. I was guarding. What are you talking about? Oh man. Oh, he's repairing. Whoa. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Let's let's do something about that arm, buddy. No! I missed. Oh, we can guard and shoot machine gun. That's good. Oh my god. Come on, Eisenberg, you got nothing on me, buddy. Holy fuck. Are we good? I don't know. Holy shit. He turned into a fucking Digimon, man. Oh! Oh shit. Oh my god! <laughs> Shoot him in the face! <laughs> I'll make sure you never have a kid again. Oh no, what? What? <laughs> how am I supposed to do it? Oh my god, how? How am I supposed to do this? Please. 
What the fuck? Quick, just run around for items. The final stretch. You got any weak points? What the fuck? Flesh and blood will never win against me. I don't know about that, buddy. We'll figure it out. He's got eyeballs, right? We could we could flash him. Does that work? I think so. I think that worked. Too bad I'm your only fan. Okay, it's working. Holy shit. What the fuck? Hey Chris, was this staying under the radar enough for you? Oh! Am I gonna get back? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Oh, let's go. <laughs> this is so crazy. This can't be the end for me. I must get struck by lightning. God, that's the most unrealistic thing ever, but I fucking loved it. Ethan is a literal superhuman. Crystal Eisenberg. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Ethan, I heard explosions. What the hell happened? Must be an under the radar. Eisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda and get those back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Wait there, you hear me? Ethan? Rose? Ethan! Ethan, respond! Ooh! Our child. She's so important, isn't she? She's everything to me. <laughs> and mine to me. With Heisenberg on, you've lost your lead. What are you going to do? I don't know, but I'm saving Rose. You'd never know, do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Poor Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> Why would you say who are you? It's so obvious. Miranda. Oh. Enough. Remember Evelyn and her power over them all? Rose is her successor. No. Rose is Evelyn's true, complete form. She will grow to fully control the masses. And I must have her. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! <laughs> I love Ethan. Calm yourself. Rose will be saved. The Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. However, she will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child, not yours! <laughs> Where are you? Show yourself! Why did Rose come to be? Ooh! Was it because of her parents? And you are truly a special case. Oh, man. But I've learned all I can from you. Your worth as a lab rat has run out. Miranda! You coward! Come out and face me! Oh! Don't worry. Your death will come quick. You will join the Mega My Seeds records. Uh, uh, oh, you just ripped my heart out! I will make sure to sample your blood for later. God. 
Once dawn breaks, the ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother, bound for eternity in blood. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, what? Did I just die? <laughs> I've waited so long. But dreams really can come true. Oh my god. Not, I can't wait to see my true child again. I just got murdered. <laughs> Whoa, she just drank the blood from my heart. That is a woman after my own heart right there. What the fuck? She just destroyed me. The death of Ethan oh my god. Able to retrieve the body, but I've recorded evidence. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she is not gonna get away with it <sighs> what God, the fuck it end? <laughs> the mission all of it three years trying to put this thing in the ground three years too long Dude, Chris has been at this for a very long time. Go get her, Captain. The squad's ready for you. It's like 20, 20 plus years of just fucking bioterrorism fuckery for, for Chris Redfield, dude. Ethan's dead! So BSAA got here already. They didn't waste any time. Mission adjustment? No, doesn't change anything. Terminate Miranda. And rescue Rose. That's the mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Roger. Yes, okay. Am I playing as Chris? I want to know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on it. Are we playing as Chris? Oh my fucking god! When was the last? The desert? Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turned herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at either. Spooky. Um. This just went like fucking Call of Duty Bravo 6 going dark in this shit. So this is like the part of the game that's similar to Resident Evil 7 where it goes, all right, cool, we chuck you in the, at the end of the game, you get a brand new character uh, who gets the fully automatic weapons and like, you. Yeah. but this is like, oh fuck, man, we're back to playing as Chris. How long has it been since we played as Chris? Feels like a lifetime, but it was literally just Resident Evil 6. But I forget about those times. Holy crap. Uh, Mother Miranda just absolutely gutted Ethan and ate his fucking heart and left. That's pretty fucking anticlimactic. I'm like, Ethan's a superhero. He's fucking insane. Goes up against Mother Miranda and just dies immediately. Oh my god. I mean, Chris, Chris did warn him. Chris was like, bruh, you're out of your depth, Ethan. You've got military training and you've got a moldy body, and that's about it. You can't survive having your heart ripped out. I'm, I'm assuming Mia died uh, when replaced by Miranda, and then Ethan is now dead. Like, this is fucking cool, but like, holy fuck, man, it just feels like such like a... There's like the narrative just went... Because 
our main our main character that we've come to know and love after two games just meets a very quick and unfortunate end right there and now we're playing call of duty resident evil bravo six or in this case alpha six going dark Ah, oh, is this like an airstrike thing? Holy shit, man. And frag grenades. This is like they just went, Alright guys, remember when you got to play as Chris Redfield and not a hero? And that doesn't count to me because it's like a DLC thing. I mean, when was the last time we got to play as Chris in a main game? Is my point that I was making before. Um, they were just like, alright guys, instead of doing not a hero again as a free DLC where you play as Chris, we just fucking... He's the next character. Does that mean we're gonna be taken back over as Chris Redfield for Resident Evil 9? Oh my god. Holy shit. Hey Alpha, look at this. <laughs> the SAA. They've gone too far. What? What does that mean for Chris? Looks pretty rough down there. How are you planning on reaching the objective? First, we're gonna have to take that thing out. I've got your back, boss. Let's get to work. All right, so we've got. One watch for hostile bio weapons. Roger. So we've got Chris Redfield, who's like, why the fuck are the BSAA here? Is this because Chris was with like the? New, newly formed Umbrella, but I thought that they contracted BSAA. I guess... Uh, I guess that's not a thing. For, um... I guess that's not a thing for Chris anymore. But we got our own squad. Uh, I can't even see... We can't even pull up a map anymore, so this is just like... I guess this is just like the. Ooh. Okay, this this is so fucking cool though. I don't know how I, I don't know how I feel about it yet in the context of like all of Resident Evil Eight and the fact that like it's it's totally taken that action fork in the road that it's like, alright, cool, now you've 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 had the scary and the, the horror stuff and the super horror stuff with the Beneviento house, uh, and now you're just like, back as Chris, everything's super crazy again, um, and action-like, and I don't know how I feel about it, because I really do like the scary horror element. I'm not too fussed, I like this better than playing as Mia on the ship. The ship section of Resident Evil 7 um, was definitely like... It just slowed everything down, and it was like, it was weird. I didn't like it that much at all. But I like this. I like this more. Um, part of me, part of me is like, unsure about the choice to kill off Ethan and replace it, and then just move ahead with, with Chris straight away. Um, but like I said, I actually, I, I'm actually enjoying it, and I'm still having fun. I'm not instantly going, ah, this sucks. And I... Two guards. <laughs> I can take them. Don't get cocked. Wow. But then, like, I don't know, this feels like it could have been a DLC. Not taking out Miranda, because that's, like, story-related, but, like, playing as Chris and doing this when it's, like, running around the village and, like, shooting people. It feels like it could be more of, like, a DLC. But instead, it's the closing chapter of the game. When it just changes up the gameplay style. What the hell is that thing? It's all new to my seat. That's probably where Miranda is. Let's go. Holy fuck, man. Fucking mold trees. Large mutated bioweapon sight. Oh my god. Dude, this is fucking cool as shit. Didn't expect to see the BSAA going so hard. They had eyes on Miranda too. Probably felt they needed to intervene. Alright, 
flash grenades. This fucking karambit knife, a combat knife that's great for close combat. Target locator, a laser targeting device. <clears throat> Med injector. I'd expect nothing less from Chris Redfield. Damn it, the path's blocked. No worries. Detour around the village. I'm just along for the ride. I'm at the location preparing for support fire. <clears throat> be a minute. Roger. Tundra here. Leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Help yourself. Wow. <laughs> this fucking what is this Call of Duty Resident Evil shit? I don't know, man. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, but it's fucking weird. It just feels like such a jarring change from the from the whole rest of the game. But I don't. I'm fine with it. I don't hate it. It's interesting. Oh man, this is so cool. It is cool. The, like, it's- and it's so effective in first person, and how this has all been set up. Umberize, I need some backup. Oh. oh, Chris Redfield punch, dude. Can't beat that Chris Redfield punch. The music that's going on this too, man. Holy fuck. Alright, I guess we can leave the village now. We'll just go out the way that we came. <laughs> Holy fuck. I've never heard of a mutamycete colony growing so huge. Oh, shit. Get punched. It makes me want to put my fucking... When I'm aiming, it makes me want to aim in first, like, down the scope. Because it's got, like, a red dot sign and everything. Oh, shit! No! The timing of the block, because I'm in the middle of reloading. Holy shit, man. Holy fuck, man. Now this is shit that Ethan Winters couldn't do. That only Chris can do, man. What is this? I don't know what the laser targeting device is all about. Oh man, I'm really trying to- I'm just really trying to push ahead here, it's just... Endless. I've reached the target location. Damn, this is big. Alright, Lobo. Marking the target. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. Ah, there we go. Bingo. All right. Reloading. Reloading now. Just a minute. Okay. Oh, <laughs> fuck. My fucking life. Okay. Eat it. Holy fuck, man. Okay, 
Captain. I'm reloaded. Ready when you are. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, yep, the ladder saved me. I'll take it. BSA guys are engaging the bioweapons. You're right, Captain, they must be after the Megamyce C2. Of course they are. Oh shit. Bruh! <laughs> Get me down from here! Give me a break. Oh my god, this is my squad. Holy shit. Come on guys, hold on. Chill the fuck out. Well, that didn't work. Yep, I'm fucking trying, dude. Is the target locator working? Yeah, dude, give me a sec. Let me get another shot in here, please. My god. Okay, this is like the least <laughs> accurate, um, this is where you lose all of your ability to make all of this look nice <laughs> and spectacular, because you're like, ah! Give me all of the stuff, please. Oh my god! Hi! Hi everybody! Holy shit! Okay, let me chuck on... I don't know what's different about this grenade to the others. Are you guys getting up? Yep. I'm gonna take that. Holy shit. Um... Shortcut that. So we got flash grenades now. Ah! Oh, nope, never mind. I thought that I would be able to get away with that. Alright, flash grenade. Quick! <laughs> While they're flashed. I don't know how long this lasts. Oh, got it! Take that. Nice. Oh, fucking hell. Dude. This is fucking nuts. See how much better this is though as like a change of pace compared to like Mia's segment where you have to start from scratch, everything's really slow, you're like piecing together everything, it's like a weird reset, but this is like, gives you fucking everything and it's just like, just wreck house and just have fun with the weapons, shoot all the enemies, like just something fun and explosive and, uh, and cool for the end, you know? I'm going in, the rest of you stay back. Captain, I compared the mold at the village with a sample from the bakers and... Uh... There's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E-series. The stuff originated here. Hmm. So yeah, this is definitely much better than Mia's section. I'm just seeing a bunch of numbers and symbols, like, I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> We're just going through shit like no tomorrow, it's like, this is when you're playing fucking Resident Evil on God mode, nothing matters anymore. Is that... Is that the fucking dude that we destroyed before? It is, isn't it? Oh, no, you've got one of... Th what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god, the fucking... Morningstar? Are you kidding me? I can't even see, dude. Shoot the back. Shoot the back. Hey, buddy, can you see? You got eyeballs in you, right? Yeah. What if we do a bit of that? Oh. 
Holy fuck, man. I'm just trying to reload over here. Holy fuck. Good. I'll signal with the locator. Give a guy a break. Oh, God. Thought so. Called it on myself. Just calling, just calling an airstrike in on myself. No biggie. Expect nothing less. Alright, next time I think the best way to do this is when we're ready to reload. When we're ready to call it in and do a flash grenade. It's probably going to be the better way to do it. Otherwise it's risky business. Holy shit, man. Okay. Okay, we're gonna just uh, do one of them there. And we're gonna do one of it. Sleepy time, sleepy time, sleepy time. Yeah, and take it. Holy fuck, man. You are packing a punch. This is insane. I'm out of flash grenades, I think. Yes, I only have these. The standard kind. So after that... Oh god. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, well, we'll, we'll see how we go. I'm trying. Oop! Third time, lucky? Please tell me. No, I think we're good. Chris Redfield, the fucking goat, dude. Giant crystal mace. The rest of you, stay above ground. Nobody beats Chris Redfield at taking out fucking bioweapons, dude. What the fuck? Holy shit. What a ride. This is absolutely so intense. The fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. Fucking... So... Resident Evil 7 resets the, the slate. They're like, fuck yeah, we've, we've brought back Resident Evil. Uh, we had to do it with these new characters. But now that Resident Evil's back... Kill the newly established characters, quick! <laughs> Kill them! And then put Chris Redfield back in the spotlight. Make him punch giant rocks again. I found it. It's the Megamycete. Make him punch the Megamycete. It's really weird to see cutscenes happening like this now. I've located the Megamycete. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. Because they can show a cutscene with Chris's face in third person and like all the way around, but then they can't do it with Ethan because Ethan doesn't have a face. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. This one's personal. Alright, fucking well, let's go finish the job, dude. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. Oh, that's there's there's some regret there. Interesting. You should have told him. Maybe he'd still be alive. Maybe you could have gone in together, you know? This must be Miranda's lab. Far out. Ah. Uh, subject name, Donna Beneviento, kind of affinity, favorable, brain functions normal, although severe mental illness. Physically, she is no different from a regular human. However, she can secrete a signal producing substance which controls plants infected by, uh, I keep wanting to say, um, uh, 
I've already forgotten the pronunciation. I'm, I'm really bad at like retaining that information. That's like something that I struggle with. Mutemocyte is what I want to keep saying because it just seems like logical. When humans absorb the pollen from a particular flower, she can cause them to have hallucinations. However, she is mentally underdeveloped and has divided her kaiju, uh, kaiju among her dolls in order to control them from a distance. An unfit vessel for Eva. Because she's looking for someone to be a vessel for for the new for Rose, which is the new Eva. Heisenberg. Carl Heisenberg, incredibly favorable, brain functions normal, has electric organs similar to the electric ray. Um, these electronic organs are connected through the subject's nervous system, can therefore pass and control electricity throughout the entire body, allowing control of magnetic fields, which is used to move metal. Splendid specimen, but still an unfit vessel for Eva. Alcina Dimitrescu. Most favorable. Regeneration rate is incredibly fast. The, the subject can heal any external wound within seconds and grow her nails into claws in mere moments. Rapid regeneration also means an increased body size. So there's like a law reason for it. It's like her rapid regeneration. Due to her hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis to maintain regeneration properties. So it's like vampiric in nature but it's a blood disease, I suspect that if the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced, then she may mutate uncontrollably. She did. <laughs> An unfit vessel for Eva. Oh man, imagine if Moro would be the perfect vessel. That would be really strange. Oh, that's all gross. Um, Salvatore, Salvatore, Moro. Low, surprisingly low, the kaiju has caused drastic changes to internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish-like gills and a swim bladder. Another subject with a regular cell division, causing him to transform into a giant fish. The subject is unable to control this transformation. Too many defects. An unfit vessel for Eva. Well. Wow. This is just fucking... This is just spicy, isn't it? Mother, Mother Miranda. <clears throat> God damn. Look at her go. So they're using this to control the bioweapons. Um. Oh, this is Evelyn. Yeah. Yep, there she is. That's Evelyn. Eva. There she is. She's still playing. It. She was still playing a role. Is that Mother Miranda? Was she a scientist at the place then? That makes sense. Oh, there's Mia. And there's that other dude who was with her. Yeah, I think uh, Mother Miranda might have been a person on this team. A survivor of it, which does make sense. Considering she's got all this experimentation shit going on. Yeah, she almost feels like the, you know, Eva's mother in a sense. And so Rose is an extension naturally to that. Dear Miranda, my deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor half-dead medical student in the snow. I have always cherished the revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research. To think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism. Positively visionary. Uh, I knew that with the knowledge I could achieve, uh, with that knowledge, I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Even after two world wars and humanity on the cusp of another, my conviction never wavered. I realized, however, through many nights of intellectual talks you and I shared that your conviction differed from mine. You hoped to bring back a single dead person while I aimed to change the world. Your experiments on the mold would not have aided me in my endeavor to achieve an exp exponential infection. I thought a virus would be more effective. This is why, my dear, I had to leave you. 
I still regret never telling you goodbye. Oh my fucking God. My apologies for reminiscing. I actually have news that I thought might please you. I have found the key to evolution, the progenitor of virus found in Africa. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus's research. I will call it umbrella, just like the symbol in that cave that we spoke about. I am one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you will be able to achieve your goal someday too. You taught me so much, and for that I will be forever in your debt. Sincerely, your lifelong student, Oswell E. Spencer. God damn it, dude. Look at that. Look at that tying all that shit together. The umbrella signal, or, uh, um, umbrella symbol origin. That it was here, Umbrella started here with Spencer being underneath Miranda. This is like being the catalyst for everything. Um, but like, they were studying the mold and stuff like that, but Spencer thought a virus would be more effective. Cue all of the everything in Resident Spencer. Evil. Here. No way. Yeah, that's, a, that's fucking tying things together. That's awesome. Now that is tying shit together. That's incredible. The same way that Resident Evil 5 was actually tying things together in the lore when it was doing the progenitor virus, which is the key to everything, and then it linked into everything else. Like, this pays respect to the previous Resident Evil games really well um, by, like, doing those origin things, even linking in the progenitor virus in Africa from Resident Evil 5, which was linking it all together as well. It's just, like, so fucking good. My Eva, it's been 100 years since I lost you to the Spanish flu. I was so powerless back then. But now, now I can bring you back to life from the Megamocyte. I had to test your new vessel's regenerative abilities. I took her apart and revived her in the Megamocyte regulator, the Giant's Chalice. All that is left is to merge her with the Megamocyte. The ceremony can finally begin. After I lost you, I was so stricken with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. I so wanted to be with you again, and that's when I found it. The Megamocyte, completely by accident. When I touched the black substance, my mind was overcome with knowledge. Uh, the Megamocyte breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that if your consciousness was in there too, then there would be a way to bring you back. I just needed the right vessel. When I returned to the village, I implanted the villagers with mold from the Megamocyte. That way I could control them, experiment on them. I have experimented on hundreds of people just to find you the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite I called Kaido. Yet none of my experiments came to fruition. There were some, like Alcina, who were close to being perfect, but most turned into lichens. I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold and your DNA, but all they created was another defect, Evelyn. Then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose thanks to them, and I knew she would be the perfect vessel. There was some interference, but I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Eva, I have waited too long to see you again. Dude, this is absolutely insane. <laughs> oh my god. So, Mother Miranda and her child Eva, over a hundred years ago, loses her daughter, and this whole fucking shit spurred from that. That's fucking nuts. Ooh, hang on. Show me your hands. Umbrise, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. Oh wow. God damn. It really is you. I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? I was caught in Houston experiments. In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it. You said that you would keep us safe. Mm. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. 
So you tell me, where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Everything is gone. I couldn't save him, but I can save Rose. Dude. Come on. It's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. Hmm? Hmm? How special I am? Bitch. Bitch. Who needs a heart anyway? Not this fucking badass. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm alive! You don't need a heart when you're Ethan Winters. Of course it's cold. How did I get here? It's my last name. God, freezing. It's all in the last name, baby. We can continue living being Shit. cold as ice. Okay, I'm glad that Ethan's not dead, but also I'm just equally confused. You're so dumb. Ooh, Evelyn. Evelyn? How are you here? You're dead. Dead? I mean... Miranda, she... Uh, no. I still have to save Rose. Wrong! <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? I can still... Uh, See? Miranda didn't kill you. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt? Mm. Remember. Ooh, Resident Evil 7 flashback, okay. Three years ago, the Baker House. You were murdered by Jack. Ooh. Okay. Three years ago. That's that's impossible. No way. You shouldn't even be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Bro, you. <laughs> What, what am I? I, 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 I did all that. <laughs> Rose, I. Family. Family. 
No. no. Rose. I have to save my daughter. You're already dead. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> I will save Rose. Oh good, at least I got the bandage back on my hand, okay? At last, he awakes! Oh! Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and I'm already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. <sighs> yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. He's a he's a fucking he's a fucking true bro, is what he is. I owe you one, Mr. Winters. I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Yeah, I have to be. I gotta go. Holy fuck, dude. Alright, I got everything back. Holy shit, man. That that's a lot to that's a lot to take in. That's that is that is a lot to take in. Holy shit. Like, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to collect my thoughts here and think. You know? Like God oh, damn. Ethan's dead. Somehow, Ethan's Ethan's been dead since Baker House. Still hit it though. Still, still, uh, still had a baby <laughs> with with Mia. Had a mold baby. What the fuck? That is absolutely insane. <laughs> it makes so much sense, but what the fuck? Absolutely wild shit, man. Ah, uh, yeah, I get to pick up some, uh... get to pick up some, uh, the leftover... stuff. I actually liked that we had that brief thing with, uh, with Chris now, because I was like, oh, I'm not sure how to feel about it right now, it's very strange. Because of, like, the context, and it was like, oh, it was so sudden. To just have Ethan taken away. I, so now with that in mind and we're back here with Ethan, I'm I'm fully on board with that. And that was that was a great little just like fun just gung ho shoot everybody fun segment with, with Chris. Um, and you get a lot of information. Mia's still alive. Um, last but then but then how about some reckless spending to finish it off? Ethan still lives, he lives, but he's dead, but he's being pursued by, he's being contained, he's able to continue living, 
through the mold and the mold alone. The cigar only sells for 3,000. May as well just keep it for that much. Of life and machine. I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through it. Dude, 100k. We're gonna get ready to use this on Mother Miranda, that's for sure. I'll actually, I'll actually use it this time. <laughs> Talk about upgrades, people. Upgrades, people. This simple modification can be done in just a moment. Leave this to me. I might go for a full upgrade on the M19, at least. Let's fully upgrade a weapon. Hmm. What? Ah, it's fine. All finished. Everything else I'm pretty fine for. More supplies. Oh, we've been refreshed again. V16, long barrel. We don't own any of those things, but we can buy these again. Aha! One each. I'll buy them while they're available, because why not? Time to splurge, as he says. Please, be well. Thanks. Nice. A true, fr a true friend. A true friend. Um, I'll just make another one after spending all that money, just in case. Alright. Holy crap, man. Are we ready? <laughs> Where are we going? We're going down to the ceremony site? Mia's like, ah, he's more special than you think he is. Can only walk for cinematic effect. Out of my way. Ooh, he's spitting out fucking... Alright, they're gonna they're gonna stop giving me stuff as well. At least these ones are. Let me in. Let me in. Little Ava, my beautiful daughter. Come to me. She looks so fucking cool. Look at her hands and stuff. Is that you? Oh, how I've missed you. I fucking love her whole outfit. This is so cool. My power is leaving me. Rose! <laughs> Miranda! Interesting. Your body certainly isn't normal. It's moldy, bitch. Give Rose to me. Now! You will see. Once I kill you properly, every- Get her now! Oh. <laughs> Let go! Ah! And you try to take it away from me. Oh. <laughs> My desires will be fulfilled. Rose is mine. Oh, this fucking music, dude. Oh no, you don't turn into a giant tree. Okay, actually, you look. You still look awesome. Look at that fucking design! Help! 
Why the hell can't you realize Rose is my goddamn kid, not yours? I shall put you to rest. She is... Now die! Oh my god. The fucking spider lady! Oh, this is so cool! This music as well, guys. Holy shit. I love this so much. What a game. What an ending. What a final fight. Cease this foolishness. The metamycete saved me from the pits of despair. Look at these transformations, dude. Look at these transformations! Holy crap! Oh, this is so much better than the final boss of Seven. Seven was like... Here, take the Wesk, the Albert gun and shoot the thing until it freezes when you inject Evelyn. But this is so fucking cool. Like, the real-time transformations. Oh my god. <laughs> this is fucking insane! Oh my god. <laughs> Now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left things in my hands. Oh, rest now. The hell I will! I will take back my daughter! Oh, fuck. <laughs> die, 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 die! Will this work? Come after me, I dare you. Feelings, Mr. Winters. Nice! Does work. If I combine Rose with a Megamice, my daughter will be made manifest at last! I've waited a century. A century! All for this day! Why? the fuck? <laughs> this is insane, dude. Why do you interfere? Surely you have no need to lose now. So close to death. She's my goddamn daughter, you psycho! <laughs> I will not have him or anyone else stay close or my dog. Man, she really ate my magnum bullets, huh? Like, ages ago. Oh my god. Holy shit, man. I shall put you to rest. Those four They could do nothing to assuage my years of loneliness. Ever think the problem might be you, Miranda? You're not capable <laughs> of real love. Holy shit. Curse this ram shadow image. <laughs> Impudent! <laughs> I cancelled her out of going into black and white land. Eat my fucking handgun ammo, Jesus! Come on, lady!
What a fucking 10 out of 10, dude. What a fucking 10 out of 10. Holy shit. Give me my Crystal Miranda statue and be done with it. Or a baby. I'll take the baby, I guess. I can't really sell that. Oh! Oh, show me my- show me Ethan Winter's goddamn fucking face right this second. You better show me his face. Ethan! Oh, this is so- Come on, Ethan, wake up! Damn, this is fucked. Chris. Ethan. You did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan. We gotta move. Hey Chris, time to blow that bomb, huh? Keep moving, Ethan. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Mia's waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Oh, Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Uh, hey. Uh. And you tell yourself, oh, come on, it's not that much further. No. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. You're her dad now, Chris. Oh, he's got the bomb. Goodbye, Rosemary. Ethan. If there was a moment to show me his face, it was right there. Rose. Ah, oh, that's the most expressive her face has been. Go, go, take us up now. She was not very expressive when we first found her in that in that cell. <laughs> Holy shit! Where's Ethan? Man, we didn't even get to see Ethan's face. We have to get clear. After no, all that. We can't go, not without my husband. Mia, sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Tell me what's going on. Where? down no. where is he Chris what have you done he's gone I tried he stayed so we could all escape I'm sorry captain you need to see this BSAA didn't send soldiers. 
This is a bioweapon. The hell were they thinking? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. What? Someone's gotta pay. <laughs> ten out of fucking ten. What the fuck? Minus point one of a point. <laughs> For not showing me fucking Ethan's face after that. He, he had a fully rendered face going on right there. Wow. And they didn't even show it to us. Wow. Holy fuck. That is absolutely insane. I loved the hell out of this game. Oh my god. No negative, no negative points, no boring points, no low points for me. Even just exploring the village and running around, like all of it, there was no particular lord that I like hated to just go through. All of it was so fun. All of it was so exciting. Mother Miranda's like designs, her boss fight, it's absolutely spectacular. Like huge props to like the to everyone who put this game together because like the effort here the effort put into this is insane and this as well is just absolutely incredible I I have no idea what to say at that point just outside of the fact that I'm like this game is fucking incredible I don't know if the I don't know if this song is copyrighted so I'm just going to turn it down while we talk about it but my god, guys. This game was fucking amazing. I just really do wish we got to see his face, but outside of that, holy shit, man. didn't feel like there was any part of this that was a slog it was just an absolute treat all the way around and while there were points that were like more horror than others you know like it's definitely definitely more horror in house beneviento um yearning for dark shadows ending thing in a blink the girl was trapped inside a mirror her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, Save our daughter! So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Wow. Like, just wow. Oh my god. And what I what I love about Resident Evil, and like we've been playing Resident Evil for a while now, for over a year, I've been playing the Resident Evil series. Um, and what I love about it is there are so many points that are Resident Evil consistent, and it's the whole like at the end of the game that there's the massive explosion while the heroes fly away in the helicopter <laughs> like and there's like and it's just really interesting that they can still do that every single time pretty much when they're just like yep they're in the helicopter there's the explosion it wasn't a self-destruct this time or was it it was ethan self-destructing <laughs> they still managed to work it in there somewhere you can't have a village have an inbuilt self-destruct system so you make ethan the self-destruct system instead um, what an incredible character. 
and a tragic death, even though he was already dead. But I loved how they did Ethan. Ethan is such a good character. Um, just a joy to play as and to go along with his story. Uh, and now Mia and Mia and Rose uh, get to get to live. He completed the tale, the village of shadows. So he he lives on in his family. He fucking fucking determined. Best dad award goes to Ethan Winters. The only point that kind of uh, like threw me for a loop there was definitely Ethan getting his heart ripped out and I thought he would die because uh, I was like, oh, I don't know how to feel about this one yet. So there was a point, there was that moment, but then once you get the context and you see it through and then you're like, ah, okay, makes sense. Everything's fine. It's good. And I enjoyed it. But yeah, I can see the way that like the, the credits are doing like the, the story with the art as well in the book. This is super interesting. Heavily enjoyed this game. I don't I don't really at this point do not really know what else to say. I think this is the I think this is the story of um, of Eva dying during the plague. The Spanish flu, I think, is what they're talking about. This seems like it. Am I right? Because everything looks kind of old-timey. It seems like that in art form, or like in a story, they're doing death of Eva. I really love how this, I really love how this continued the story, but now I'm so curious, super curious about um, Resident Evil 9. Resident Evil 9, dude. Uh, what happens there? Because we just lost our protagonist uh, at the midpoint in the trilogy. We lost our protagonist at the midpoint. Are we gonna are we gonna play as uh, are we gonna play as um, as Chris? I'm gonna play as Chris Redfield for episode nine. Look, now she's all fixed. She's all better. Yeah, Chris Redfield. <laughs> for RE9 or Mia again she decides to put the housewifing aside because now Ethan's gone so now she's like it's, it's, it's my turn it's my turn to step up no idea Resident Evil 9 is completely open now because the whole origin of all of like the mold and like everything that was established has now been absolutely destroyed, blown to pieces. That's all gone. Uh, so I don't expect that to even make a return. Um, but Rose, maybe it kind of lives on in Rose because she was like the perfect vessel for for Eva. I don't know if Mia has like mold properties going on like Ethan did. So it might live on in those guys. Yeah, at the moment, like Resident Evil 7 even was kind of like, you were like, where could it go from here? It's it's, it's very open-ended. You know, like they've, they've beaten this thing, but like if they're going to do a Resident Evil 8, where are they going to take it? They could take it, they could take it anywhere. Um, Resident Evil um, 9, I feel exactly the same about. Again, it's like, where could this go? It's it's crazy to see oh a lichen. It's crazy to see where this game went from Resident Evil 7, how it built upon it, but also just went fucking fantastical in its own in its own crazy wild direction. With Mother Miranda and whatever the hell's going on with, with her and like this whole story and like setting. Definitely a different touch from the from the Baker House, you know. <laughs> Do you 
think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon. It's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay. Then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. Yay. I don't think the moon feels like a Time jump. Time skip. It's Rose. Oh, she's wearing Ethan's jacket, dude. She's wearing Ethan's jacket. Ethan Winters. Fucking time jump, dude. Okay. Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> uh, Goddamn devil. Yep. Duty calls. I love you. Okay. Rosemary Winters, new protagonist for RE9. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> We have a situation. You're needed, Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. Jesus. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. Whoa, what the f- Just a kid. What the fuck? Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know. I know. Fucking like RE engine, baby. It's beautiful. Why would you even make that joke and call her Evelyn? Just like fucking hell, dude. The father's story is now done. The daughter's story is now beginning. Right? Yeah? Okay. I was just like lingering there for a second. Fuck yeah, dude. Village of Shadows. Amazing. Okay, completion points. New movies. Back stuff. Following weapon. WCX. Challenge completed. You have completed the following challenges. Completion points can be used to purchase. Can we see the what they called? Oh, okay, never mind. Um, yes, I will save. I wanted to see like what the challenges were specifically. Oh, there it is. Resident Evil Village completed. Absolutely fucking incredible, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for like coming through this journey with me on the brand new Resident Evil release. Uh, it's been a journey getting up to date on the series and playing through them all to reach this point, and I'm so glad that we finally reached it. Uh, I'm very grateful for you guys that have come along to watch this one, but holy crap, what an explosive uh, finale. Uh, Resident Evil 9, Rosemary Winters, baby. Um, makes a lot of sense. That's how the story will continue. Uh, very interested to see what will be coming next from Resident Evil. Um, now, as we know, there are more Resident Evil games out there. Obviously, Resident Evil on the Game Boy will be next. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, I've been playing Resident Evil very consistently. 
um, from Resident Evil 3 onwards. Uh, Resident Evil 2 was the first game that I started with um, on YouTube uh, for the channel. We did obviously do Resident Evil Remastered. We went back to that. Uh, but Resident Evil 2 uh, was a little bit rocky. But from then, it was very, uh, very consistent. Uh, so I'm actually going to take a little bit of a break uh, from Resident Evil. Um, but we have multiple games waiting for me to jump into uh, when I come back to it. It's not going to be a long break, but it's just like just a little bit of a Resident Evil break because what we'll uh, what we we will check out uh, will definitely be uh, a replay of Resident Evil 2 uh, playing the Claire A to Leon B storyline, uh, the canon RE2 story. Uh, there will also be Resident Evil 2 remake after that, Resident Evil 3 remake, and there's also Revelations 1 and 2 as well. Uh, so very excited to play those games mainly, uh, but there's more, and I could potentially check them out if uh, you guys want to see them. I know that there's like like some Chronicles related titles um, that you can that you can get. I think the PS3 has like a bit of a collection that I could look into. Like there's there's other games that we can we can check out um, along the way if you guys want to see it. But for now, thank you so much, guys, for coming along the Resident Evil Village journey with me. Uh, and again short break before jumping in to more Resident Evil content uh, because uh, it's it's a great series. I, I love it a lot. And then once everything is all said and done, I will finally be able to do a Resident Evil tier list and we'll, we'll be able to see what I like the best and what I liked the least. I think if you've come along with my journey over the, over the past year and a bit that you probably already know how that's going to go, but uh, we'll just have to see when we get to it. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.